it's Ropo and welcome back to my channel guys for another video and today we are playing something quite different and as you can tell by the music uh, it's pretty groovy okay well let's just jump straight in pop okay so here it is this music is awesome oh sorry I'm just I'll play I'll start playing in a minute I'm just I'm some fun right now Oh yeah, okay, but it might be a little bit too loud. Mute sound, I just want to turn it down a bit. Well, maybe I, I don't, maybe I should just do it. Okay, so this is True or False 2. Um, I saw a YouTuber by the name of Jack Jacksepticeye play this. So I was thinking, that looks fun, so let's play it. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so it says have a nice day. It's very Christmassy. Well, it's kind of winter, but it's winter now, so. Uh, but I am going to have to turn it down. It's very loud. Hopefully it's not as loud when we get in. But uh, yeah, let's do number one. Okay, the music has changed. It's a bit mysterious now. It's like, oh, now I'm floating in a deep, tranquil ocean. Relax, Robo. Calm. <laughs> right, okay, so uh, fact number one, Umero Uno or something like that. The most common passwords of 2016 are 123456, 123456789, and Quarty? 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 Okay, so I can guess that the 123456 kind of thing is, uh, yeah, I mean. They are pretty common passwords, I'd imagine, because people are lazy. But QWERTY, I have no idea. It has to be true. What? It's such a weird fact. True! The most frequently used passwords list isn't changing from year to year, so everybody just picks those passwords every year. Okay, good to know. I'm going to do some hacking later. But, uh, okay, a crazy peacock is called a peanut. Who defines what crazy is? Like, how, do, how do you look at a peacock and be like, Yo, Peacock! You crazy! You a crazy Peacock! You like a peanut! Yep, that crazy peanut, <laughs> that crazy Peacock has a peanut! True? <laughs> no, it's false, obviously. Okay, sorry. Yeah, but still. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know, I'm gonna start thinking about these logically now and trying to get them right. Okay, so that was a little test. Alright, okay, sound. So we're, uh... Okay, well, let's, we'll count the first two as tests. I was gonna say we're one right one wrong but no let's start now this next one is going to be the start of it all okay Hordor is the name of a Norse god of winter Hodor or what is it Hodor Hodor hello I am Hodor the Norse god of winter and I shall smite you down with my freezing rays of pain yeah that has to be true just because I did the voice yeah boom Deal with it. It's true. Okay, we're one. We're one up. William Shakespeare wore earrings. Well, of course he did. He was crazy. No. Well, William Shakespeare was... I am William Shakespeare. Thou shalt not do things and buy once upon the... Those are whatever way he talks. I don't know how William Shakespeare talks. Well, I, I presume he wore earrings because this question is far too random. Mm, we made this mistake the last time, though. Did William wear earrings? Find out next time! No, no, okay, true. At the time, an earring was emblematic of poetry. Hmm, was it now? Well, okay, so you were a connoisseur uh, of poetry if you had earrings, is that is that what it was? Okay, right, I'll allow it, I like it. Two up! Okay, you can drink as much water as you want. Um... I don't know, but I presume if you just kept drinking water and water and water, you... but then you'd, you'd keep weeing and you'd be really hydrated. I don't know. But then if you drank too much, would you like have too much water in your body and then explode? <laughs> You're not going to explode, but okay. Um, you can drink as much from false, false, false. Yes. It may sound weird, but people do die from fatal water overdoses. I don't believe that they, they do die. I believe that they can die, but who just goes, I think I'm going to overdose some water today by drinking the ocean. No, I don't think that's ever going to happen really, is it? Okay, facts number six. 
Chickens have self-control. Distinct personalities and the ability to logic lo logically reason. Okay, so a chicken comes up to a fence and it's electric and he's like, Yo, that fence is electric. I shouldn't climb it. And walks off. <laughs> okay, and self-control. Hey, look, there's a, a female chicken. I'm going to go peck her on the mouth without asking. No, <laughs> I'm going to say false. True, get out of town. I don't believe you. No, no, no. I'm not having it. Several recent studies have proven that fact. Um, I'm Joseph here at the Science Academy of uh, Washington, and I've conducted a study of two chickens, and they are able to tell the time. Yeah, all right, dude. Come on. That's, no, nonsense. Nonsense! Shenanigans! I call shenanigans on that! Okay, fact seven. There is an island in the Bahamas inhabited only by swimming pigs. I know for a fact that this is true because I saw it on YouTube. It looks unbelievably cute. These little piggies just swim around in the little shallow water around the beach. It's awesome. So that's true. True! Pig Beach is a real inhabited island located in Exuma uh, in the Bahamas. I knew it, but that's pretty cool. I like it. Fact number eight. Harry Potter was the most banned book in the US for 2001 and 2002. The most banned? So like, what, bookstores start banning it? Harry Potter is too much fun for children because it makes their imaginations go wild. We have to ban it! Um, sounds like something the US would do. True? True! For the reasons of being anti-family, what? Satanism? Religious? Violence? Come on! Harry Potter! It's just fun! Quidditch and stuff! And spells! Shalagazubi! Ah, and they like turn into like birds and stuff. Ah, okay. You're crazy, America, in 2001 and 2002. Uh, fact number nine. The lifespan of a squirrel is about 20 years. Um, I don't know. No, oh, gee, because I think here in Ireland, the red squirrel is becoming, like, endangered. Might have just made that up, but it might be true, because I think the grey squirrels are, like, better. Or I, I could be just talking um, absolute poo. But, um, let's go with true. False! The lifespan of a squirrel is actually about nine years. Oh, great. Well, that was a boring fact. Thank you for that, true or false too. Fact 10, all polar bears are Irish. I don't think that's gonna be true. Any polar bears outside? Huh? Let me just check here. Hello, polar bear? No, I don't see any outside, so I'm gonna say false. <laughs> what? True. They've, they, they're descended from the brown bears that lived in Ireland over 25,000 years ago. Get out of town! We don't even have bears here in Ireland anymore. What? Polar bears? I'm, I'm very confused right now. Is, is, this, is this stuff actually true? And I'm looking that up afterwards on the World Wide Web. Do you know the internet? I'm going to look that up on the internet and see if that's true. I don't believe you, sir. I do not believe you. Okay, but let's continue. Uh, your result was a uh, 60%. Not great. Okay, well, uh, hello, little penguin. How do you do, sir? Uh, banana was the first fruit eaten on the moon. Um, possibly. Because I know they, like, do bananas and they, like, dry them out and they're delicious little treats. There you go. Mmm, little banana treat. Okay, so let's say, uh, true. False, oh, come on! The first fruit eaten on the moon was a peach. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin ate the first meal on the moon during the Apollo 11 flight after they landed at, uh, the Sea of Tranquility. They had a piece of peach instead of a banana. Ah, oh, can't believe we started with a fail. <laughs> okay, fact number two. China has banned time travel in TV. What? In China, you're not allowed to watch 
a TV show that has time machines in it. So you're not allowed to watch Back to the Future in China. I will not allow that. No. In China has banned. No, it has to be false. They can't allow that. What? Time travel dramas are very popular in China. So China has blocked all movies about time travel. Saying it <laughs> disrespects. Disrespects. D respects, what do we do? Uh, disrespects history? What? China, you, everybody's crazy. Why are all these places crazy? My goodness, just let the people watch Back to the Future. It's an awesome movie. And like uh, other stuff where you can time travel. Okay, we're not doing too good here. It turns out we're really bad at facts. I do apologize. Okay, uh, fact three. La La Land has, uh, has broken the record for most Golden Globes wins ever. I don't know. True. Uh, I don't really care. True. It won every Golden Globe it was nominated for. I've never seen La La Land. I'll have to go watch it. We are going for a clean sweep of failure here, um, which is not too good. Fact number four: More people live in Tokyo than all of Canada. I say that's probably true. True, Tokyo has a larger population than the majority of countries. Well, well, it's definitely bigger than Ireland. We only have something like 4.5 million people living on this little beautiful island. Um, okay, so fact number five. Pig is the only animal besides human that can get sunburned. I think I did hear that before. But then what about the little piggies on the, the beach? They, 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 people like rub sun cream on them? Hello, little piggy. And <laughs> just spray sun cream on him. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna say true for the crack. False. Come on. I want. See, I want these things to be true because I think they're funny. And then they're not. Okay. Lots of animals can get sunburn under the right condition. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. You see. Yeah. Okay. I didn't read that correctly. I was just saying that they can, but it said only. Yeah. Ah, shucks. We are doing terribly here. And um, by uh, when I say we. I mean directly me, because I'm the one playing, you're not playing, I'm just terrible. I'd imagine you're probably guessing correctly. Okay, so uh, fact number six. The price of admission for a zoo in 18th century England was a dog or a cat. No, please, please say this is no. Ah, <sighs> what? They were fed to the lions? To go to the zoo, you had to give a dog to be eaten. <laughs> there's, there's no words that can describe how weird that is. Oh my god, okay, well, let's just try to get everything wrong, because we're doing so good at that so far. In 1991, gorillas were trained to use cell phones by Brazilians. Okay, well, everyone over in Brazil is crazy, so uh, <laughs> I don't mean that. Um, so yeah, they probably did. The gorilla, no, come on, it has to be false. <laughs> false, lies, 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 okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I often have seen little monkeys running around with little handbags and stuff, so maybe they just like dip in and... Hello, little uh, Trevor the monkey here, how are you? What can I do for you? Oh, okay, all right, see you tomorrow. Uh, okay, um, fact number eight, Antarc and Antarctica is not a desert. Well, it's like a... No desert is not a desert. False, it is a desert, just for the crack. False. Antarctica is actually a cold desert because it rarely receives rain. Outrageous. Good fact to know that one. It snows a lot, doesn't rain in Antarctica. So it's a desert. I like it. That was a good uh, logical answer. Alligator teeth are hollow. Um, I don't know. That would be pretty cool though, wouldn't it? Let's say true. Just so. True! The alligator's new tooth grow. New tooth? Why is it a new tooth? New tooth grows inside the old one. Oh, and it like passes through. So it's already in place when the old tooth falls out. That's a pretty uh, well evolved animal, if I do say so myself. I saw alligators before. I don't know, maybe it was crocodiles. I think it was crocodiles when I was in Australia. Down on the eye, looking at big crooks, jumping up and eating all out of like something. I don't know. Uh, fact 10. There are no vitamins with letters F or J. What about vitamins F and J? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
there are no vitamins with letters F and J. True? I don't know. True! Those letters were used for vitamins that were reclassified over time. Hmm. Discarded as false leads or renamed because of their relationship to the vitamin B. Very interesting. Well, thank you, little penguin. Thank you so much. Yes, okay. Um, next one. Oh, 50%. Okay, so we got half of those wrong. That wasn't great. Okay, well, let's play one more. Let's see if we can get over the 60% mark because uh, I just want to show that I'm not completely dumb. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hello, little hedgehog. Look at you hogging around with your little hedges. Very nice. Okay, fact number one. Snowflakes take about an hour to reach the ground. False, crazy talk. True, what? How, no, a cloud can be like outrageously high or it can be kind of low. This is a, this is a, this is a gray area, a gray area. Under the correct conditions, oh yeah, well you never said under the correct conditions. It could take 45 minutes to an hour for a snowflake to fall to, from a cloud to the surface. Of course, something can take any amount of time if the conditions are the way you want them to be. Very general fact there. Didn't like that one. No. Okay, well, fact number two. Uh, an Italian man dressed male frogs in tight-fitting pants. An Italian man dressed male frogs in tight-fitting pants. People do weird stuff all the time, but why is it specifically an Italian man? And <laughs> what's going on here? True, just because it's crazy? True, his name was Lazaro Spalanzi, and he was a biologist. Okay, thanks, Lazaro, you absolute legend for, for putting tights on the uh, frogs. Oh man, badgers can't attack humans. Yeah, no, false. False. According to the BBC, badgers can attack humans. Of course they can. They're crazy. They always go mental. Uh, fact four. India has 122 ma major languages? Really? But that, that's more like colloquialisms in, as in different parts of India have different, like, sounding. I don't know. It's, it seems a bit too random to be false, though. Will I say true? Yeah, I'll say true. Just for... True, it has 1,599 other languages. What? That's insane. Okay, well, that's a good fact to know. Fact number five, there are a thousand years in a light year. Um, I don't know, true? False, light year is a unit of distance, not time. Oh yeah, I kind of knew that and I should have, yeah, no, sorry, that was my bad. That was my bad, yeah. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, bulls hate red. True. Oh, no, they, no, they like it. What am I doing? Ah! They cannot see the color red or green. But why did they go after red then? Is that just like a... I'm confused now. Bulls are colorblind. They cannot see colors. Red or green. But why did they go after the red flags? Like, on the lay. And the, the, the bull like goes after it. I'm really bad at this game. I do apologize. It's fun though, isn't it, hedgehog? Okay, uh, the opposite of a blacksmith is a whitesmith. What's the opposite of someone that works with steel making things? Someone that doesn't work with steel? Okay, <laughs> false. But if this is true, oh, come on, come on. A smith who works with leather colored materials Particularly tin, lighter colored, sorry. But lighter colored materials. Get out. So, a blacksmith works with like, black metal? What? I don't know, this is really confusing. I'm either really, really dumb or these are crazy things. Okay, fact number eight. The Kremlin still uses f floppy disks. The Kremlin? Uh, what's the Kremlin again? Is that like the is it some place in Germany or something? I don't know, true, just because it's too crazy. False, actually, uh, the Pentagon still uses floppy disks. What? The Pentagon does? A hard drive, a USB key. Come on, lads, 
Keep off floppy disks. That's crazy. Okay, let's go. Uh, fact number nine, and this could be our second last fact of the day. ACDC guitarist Angus Young has played guitar whilst his amp was on fire. Ah, oh, that is so rock and roll. Hey, I'm Angus Young. What's up? Gonna turn my amp up to 11 so it goes on fire. Know what I'm gonna do then? Rock out on my guitar. Yeah, that's definitely true. Make it happen. Yes! He rules. His guitar amplifier caught, caught on fire while he was in the studio recording the solo for the 1970s. Let there be rock. God is awesome. Can you imagine him? Let there be rock! Ow! Oh! And there's like big flaming fire everywhere. Yeah, that's so rock and roll. And I love that fact. I'm going to tell people that when I'm like out socializing. Okay. <laughs> fact number 10 and our final fact of the day. 2017 in Roman numerals is I am L-I-V-I-D. I don't know. No, because 20, 20 just has its own letter. And then, no, it can't be that. Can't. False. False. Yes. Most certainly, it's M-M-X-I-I-I. -I, -I. I forgot to say the V. But anyway, okay, there we go. 50% again. Oh, man, we are not great at that game. <laughs> but my tune is back. Oh. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. That was true or false too. It was fun. We learned some stuff and we mainly learned that I am a silly Billy. But um, <laughs> until next time, guys, it's a big peace.